Alright guys, I'm going to show you this new recipe that I found on Pinterest. Um, this is to make carbless taco shells, and I love tacos, so I was really excited to find this. I was a little hesitant in believing that this was going to work. Um, so what it is, is actually uh, Sargento provolone, and it's the pieces, the circle pieces. Um, so you overlap them slightly on parchment paper, on a plate and then microwave them for a minute and 10 seconds is what um, Pinterest said. I'm doing a minute and 20 seconds because my microwave's are not as high powered as most people. So I'll show you. Okay, so you want to microwave it until it's a little brown around the edges and it's all melty good. And then here's what you do. You just take it and let it fall into a taco shell, taco shell shape. Say that a bunch of times. Um, so I'm helping this one along a little bit. The other one I did for a minute 30, it's a little browner. So if you let this kind of chill for a second and cool, it's actually gonna hold its shape. And it's gonna be, can you see that going? So you want to do it over the sink because the um, grease will run off the cheese so it doesn't get everywhere. But look at that, it's going to end up being a taco shell. I'm wondering if I can invent something that will actually hold these. Good. So you just let that cool a second. And check this out, we have taco shells. They'll even stand up. Well, not really, but you can fill them. Like I said, this one went a little bit longer, so it's a little bit browner. Um, they're crunchy. They're gonna they're gonna be just like taco shells. So I've got that cauliflower rice left over. I'm gonna heat up that and shred some chicken. And we're doing chicken tacos without carbs. Isn't that amazing? I'm so excited to find this. It's gonna be my new go-to. I think. I might just make slices of provolone and cook them and eat them. I like burnt cheese. Okay, I'll show you this when it's done. In addition to my cheese taco shells, my husband and I also made cauliflower cheese breadsticks. So they didn't quite crisp like I thought they would, but it smells amazing. So it's just cauliflower in the food processor, uh, heated and strained in a cheesecloth mixed with an egg and uh, cheese and seasonings. Um, spread it into a crust, bake it for 12 minutes, add more cheese on top, bake for another five, and you're done. And it smells and looks and pretty much tastes just like cheese breadsticks. Amazing.